You know, science is a fantastic thing. It allows people to learn tons of information about the world that surrounds them. But even better, it lets you look at familiar objects from an entirely different angle. To do this, you need nothing more than a microscope. In this video, you'll see 14 commonplace things in a new light. First, you'll have some time to try to guess what you see in the picture. Then, you'll find out the correct and often entirely unpredictable answer. Number 1. Look at these stunning, colorful objects. Don't they look like minerals and gemstones that have arrived from some faraway galaxy? Well, unfortunately, it's unlikely that's the case. You get 10 seconds to guess what it is. In fact, it's sand from Jingdown province in China. As you can see, sand is a mixture of itty-bitty pieces of minerals, rocks, shellfish, and corals. You might also know that people use sand to make cement. Interestingly, Saudi Arabia, which is literally a sandy desert, has to import sand for construction purposes. The sand grains in the country are so tiny that they can't be used to make proper cement. Now that's weird. Number 2. Oh, it looks like an exquisite sweet treat from the Middle East. But if you disagree with this assumption, you have 10 seconds to invent your own version of what this beautiful object is. This thing is neither sweet nor edible. What you see in the photo is a pine needle. By the way, pine trees are real long livers. No, not the internal organ you have. Their age can reach 100 to 1,000 years. The oldest pine tree grows in Inyo National Forest in California, and it's more than 5,000 years old. Number 3. Are they the frost patterns that appear on your window on a cold winter morning? Or maybe it's an underwater worm party. What's your guess? You're absolutely right if you recognize silk fibers under the microscope. This fabric may seem delicate and fragile, but a silk rope is actually stronger than a metal wire of the same diameter. At the same time, Silk is less dense in comparison to wool or cotton. Number 4. Ah, this one looks like a corn cob that's gone bad, doesn't it? On the other hand, this corn might not be spoiled, but rather grilled and covered with salt. Mmm, yummy. Do you agree with this idea? Surprisingly, this object has nothing to do with food. It's a red starfish. Although starfish are living beings, they have neither brain nor blood. Sounds like a roommate I used to have. But starfish can live as long as 35 years. The most amazing fact about starfish is that after they catch their prey, their stomach leaves their body through the mouth and digests the food. After that, it returns into their body. Boy, if people did that at restaurants, that would be totally gross. Number 5. Isn't that a color swatch people use to choose the color of their future sofa? Or are these the roof tiles of a very creative person's house? You have 10 seconds to suggest your own idea. Well, this is how a butterfly wing looks under a microscope. Interestingly, under these bright scales, a butterfly's wing is completely transparent. It's so thin that you can see through it. Also, butterflies can't regulate their body temperature. That's why they can't fly when it's too cold outside. Their flight muscles just don't work. Number 6. These look like weirdly colored tennis balls. 
Or is it some exotic caveat? You have 10 seconds to form your own opinion. These objects are also connected with butterflies. They are butterfly eggs. However, not all eggs have the same nearly transparent color. Depending on the butterfly species, they can be yellow, green, or white. Butterflies glue their eggs to leaves and grass, and an egg gets destroyed if someone or something tries to move it from its place. Number 7. Hmm, it must be some dangerous bacteria. On the other hand, it resembles some human body cells. Do you agree with any of these assumptions? If you agree, you've bet on the wrong horse. What you see in the picture is good old yeast. Yeast is single-celled microorganisms, and they reproduce by budding. Interestingly, yeast can be used to produce electricity and make biological car fuel based on ethanol. And if you leased a real fast one someday, you'd have a leased yeast beast. Number 8. Look at this beauty. Is it spilled gasoline or a crystallized rainbow? You probably have an idea of your own. If you decided that this is what honey looks like under a microscope, you're absolutely right! Honey is a product that never spoils. If you seal it in an airtight container, it will have an eternal shelf life. After all, they found perfectly edible honey in Egyptian tombs that are thousands of years old. It's not only honeybees that produce honey. There is another insect, the Mexican honey wasp, which is known to make honey as well. But you should be extremely careful with the honey produced by these wasps. It can be poisonous because of the flowers honey wasps prefer. Number 9. It can't be anything else but droplets of water, don't you think? Wait, maybe these are several single-celled organisms. What do you think? Actually, that's neither a living creature nor water. It's glue. At the beginning of the 18th century, people made glue from a particular kind of fish, sturgeon. As for superglue, it appeared as a result of an accident, and its creator was immensely annoyed by how sticky the new substance was. Number 10. The next image is incredible. It looks so fresh, and the colors are so vibrant. Is it fruit juice? It might be some crystal. What do you think? This beautiful image is regular red cabbage. Anthocyanin, a flavonoid found in this type of cabbage, is to thank for the amazing color of the vegetable. You can find this flavonoid in flower petals and blueberries as well. People also use red cabbage as a natural dye for food and clothes. Number 11. The next picture can't be anything but hay. Or some coarse pack thread. You have 10 seconds to agree or disagree with these assumptions. In fact, it's something you deal with very often in winter. You may have a pair of gloves, a scarf, or a sweater made from this material. It's wool. Throughout history, wool has been an important commodity in different cultures. People used it not only to make clothes, but also to get rid of oil spills and control erosion on roadsides. Wool is a unique clothing material because it has high fire resistance. In addition, it doesn't melt when it catches fire, unlike polyester or nylon. 12. What do you think about the next image? Are these several twisted metal wires? 
This construction looks very strong and solid. This is how a knot of nylon fibers looks under a microscope. Nylon melts at high temperatures, but chemicals or sweat don't weaken it. At first, nylon was used to produce toothbrush bristles and parachutes. It was the first synthetic fabric in the world. Another interesting fact about nylon is that it got its name from two famous cities – New York NY, and London LON. 13. Well, this one seems to be some kind of exotic wood. But if you take a closer look, you can imagine that you're peering at a fire. What are your associations? Get ready for a surprise. You're looking at frozen apple juice. Apples are some of the most popular fruit on the planet. There are more than 7,500 kinds of apples. They have different colors, shapes, textures, acidity, juiciness, nutrition, and even harvesting times. So you can imagine the variety of apple juices in different corners of the world. Number 14. The next image looks pretty unusual. It might be dirt under your feet in the street. Or could it be a large-scale photo of a big city taken from space? What do you think? The truth is much more horrifying. What you see in the photo is ordinary house dust. The average American home collects 40 pounds of dust a year. House dust contains dead skin, hair, pollen, paper and textile fibers, particles of soil, animal fur, and so on. Lunch anybody? If the dust particles are super tiny, dust can stay in the air for as long as 5 days. At the same time, more than 40,000 tons of cosmic dust fall on our planet every year, arriving in the form of micrometeorites from space. So it's not all about dead skin. Might be dead aliens. Thanks to dust, you can witness breathtaking sunsets and sunrises. The dust that gathers in the atmosphere lets red and orange colors through but absorbs green and blue. So, which of the objects you saw under a microscope confused you the most? Write about your impressions in the comment section below. Remember to give us a thumbs up, share this video with your friends, and hit subscribe to move to the bright side of life.